An FBI search of President Biden's Wilmington, Delaware home turned up yet more classified material. The Friday search was coordinated between the FBI and Mr. Biden's personal attorney. It underscores the seriousness of a special counsel's investigation into Mr. Biden's handling of classified material from his days both as vice president and as senator. White House correspondent Laura Barone Lopez is here. Laura, this is an FBI search of a sitting president's home. Mm -hmm. How did this come about and what did they find? So uh, President Biden's personal attorney, Bob Bauer, offered this search to FBI investigators, saying that they've been trying to cooperate as much as possible from the very beginning. And it lasted about, you know, almost 13 hours on Friday, January 20th. And uh, essentially what they found was six items, they said, that included some classification markings. We don't know if that's six documents, if it's more than six documents, but they found that during this search and they took that into their possession. This has been such a long running drama saga, it feels. I, I think it's worth uh, just to walk through this again, the timeline for the viewers. Yeah, it, it, there have been a lot. This is technically the fifth discovery. And so let's go through this timeline of, of these classified documents. On November 2nd, 2022, Biden's attorneys found documents at Penn Biden Center and they noted notified the National Archives. Then on November 9th, 2022, DOJ launches its assessment. On December 20th of 2022, Biden's attorneys again find documents, this time in his Wilmington garage, and they notified the DOJ immediately. January 11th of this year, 2023, Biden's attorneys find a single document in his Wilmington residence. January 12th, 2023, DOJ takes possession of five additional documents, classified documents found at, the, at his Wilmington residence, the president's Wilmington residence. Then finally, again, as I just said, January 20th, 2023, the Justice Department officials search the Wilmington residence and take possession of six items with classification marking. So again, we don't know if that's six documents. They also took some personal handwritten notes that President Biden wrote during his time as vice president. And uh, I should note that those six items, they said, also included some material during his time in the Senate. Does this affect his legal liability in any way? So I spoke to Mark Zaid, a national security uh, attorney today, and he said that optics, this is optically, this is not good. Politically, this is not good for the president. But uh, legally, the facts haven't really changed. Here's what he said. I'm not really concerned from a legal standpoint that this enhances any likelihood of Justice Department action. In fact, in many ways, it does the exact opposite. The level of cooperation and voluntarily allowing FBI agents to search a sitting president's residence uh, and come up with additional classified records, uh, well, that at least minimizes the prosecutorial concerns. It just maximizes, unfortunately, how horrible the optics are. So I also asked attorney Mark Zaid about these personal handwritten notes that w were taken into possession by the DOJ. He said it's very normal for uh, FBI investigators to take anything within the time period that they see that these classifications, uh, classified documents, uh, you know, existed around and that that's what they do because they want to determine if there's anything else potentially within those handwritten notes that that could have some classified material. The other thing he said, though, is that these documents could very well um, not be classified anymore, that maybe they were classified at the time, but not really have classified material in them anymore. And again, he noted that the cases are still very different between President Biden and President Trump, namely because of how the two uh, handled what happened after these classified materials were found and that former President Trump obstructed. And that's one of the big uh, potential charges that he's facing from his special counsel investigation. Laura Barone Lopez, our White House correspondent. Thank you very much. Thank you.